हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मेड विशन इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड आल्सो हिट द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस द न्यू अपडेट टुडेज वीडियो इज बेस्ड अपॉन द एल्बो एनास्टोमोसिस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एल्बो एनास्टोमोसिस द थ्री मेन आर्टरीज टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द एल्बो एनास्टोमोसिस आर द ब्रैकियल आर्टरी the radial artery and the ulnar artery the brachial artery is the continuation of the axillary artery and is the main artery of the front of the arm to watch my video on the axillary artery or the brachial artery check out the links provided in the description box the brachial artery divides into two terminal branches the lateral one being the radial artery and the medial one being the ulnar artery the branches of these three arteries anastomoses around the elbow joint and supplies the ligaments and the bones of the joint the branches of the brachial artery are the profunda brachii artery which further subdivides into two main branch that is the anterior descending branch and the posterior descending branch the dotted area means the artery is present at the back side the second branch includes the superior ulnar collateral artery this is the superior ulnar collateral artery the third branch includes the inferior ulnar collateral artery this is the inferior ulnar collateral artery The radial artery gives off a branch named radial recurrent artery. This is the radial recurrent artery. The ulnar artery, after traveling a few distance, gives off two branches, namely the anterior ulnar recurrent artery. This is the anterior ulnar recurrent artery, and the posterior ulnar recurrent artery. this is the posterior ulnar recurrent artery it further continues as the common interosseous artery this is the common interosseous artery which divides into the anterior interosseous and the posterior interosseous artery the posterior interosseous artery gives off a branch named the interosseous recurrent artery this is the interosseous recurrent artery which takes part in the anastomosis of the elbow joint the anastomosis can be divided into four part that is in front of the lateral epicondyle behind the lateral epicondyle in front of the medial epicondyle and behind the medial epicondyle in front of the lateral epicondyle of the humerus the anterior descending branch which is also known as the radial collateral branch of the profunda brachii artery anastomoses with the radial recurrent artery of the radial artery these two are the branches which anastomoses in front of the lateral epicondyle of the humerus behind the lateral epicondyle of the humerus the posterior descending branch of the profunda brachii artery anastomoses with the interosseous recurrent branch of the ulnar artery so these two are the branches that anastomoses behind the lateral epicondyle of the humerus in front of the medial epicondyle of the humerus the inferior ulnar collateral artery or the supratrochlear artery anastomoses with the anterior ulnar recurrent artery so these two are the arteries that anastomoses in front of the medial epicondyle of the humerus behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus the superior ulnar collateral artery this is the superior ulnar collateral artery it anastomoses with the posterior ulnar recurrent artery so these two are the branches which anastomoses behind the medial epicondyle of the humerus 
These blue color line represents the pairs that are present at the different location and these pairs participates in the anastomosis at that particular location. If you want to download this diagram, this diagram is available on my Instagram and Facebook page. The links are provided in the description box. I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. See you soon in my next video.